Hi everyone. Well, today's makeup theme is going to be so much makeup, so little time. I got a big box from Sephora today and I have so many things. I just want to sit back here and play makeup and uh, real life is getting in the way of that. And I want to show you all this stuff and I'm having to do all this other stuff and pack for Disney and it's the end of my school, kids school year and there's all these different events that we're having to go to and do and I'm looking at floor plans and blueprints for our house that we're going to build and it's just insane. So I'd love to sit back here and play makeup with you guys all day and I just don't get to do that so I'm kind of unhappy. Um, so I got this box from Sephora today, and what I really wanted to show you out of it the most was I wanted to do a look with this bronze favorites, bronze, Sephora favorites bronze bears all kit. Everybody's talking about how awesome this kit is, and I looked at it, and at first I thought, well, no, and then I started to look at the individual things in here close, more closely, and I'm like, I have to have that. I believe right now it's sold out from what I've seen, um, but I got one, I snapped one up before it got sold out, and it's full of goodies. So I'm going to show you how I did that today. I'm also going to show you this Urban Decay. Um, it's a powder foundation. Naked Skin Ultra Definition, Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. I have that on today. And I'll show you some other things that came in my Sephora box that I will be reviewing with you um, later. So it came in this lovely box. And I'm going to keep this box. This is a nice box. See, it's got a scene in it, and it's, you know, a nice, decent, um, sort of laminated cardboard. I'm going to keep this, and I think I'm probably going to end up putting it in one of my drawers and using it for a drawer organizer. It's perfect for that. So thank you, Sephora. Um, it came in this, uh, or what came in it is all of these yummy goodies. So this is a Formula X nail polish, which I've never tried the Formula X. I actually have some in my nail polish stash, but I have never, uh, I've never tried one. I am willing to try this one on because I like na nude nail polishes, and um, I, so I'm going to try that one later for you. Came with a Becca Opal. This is the um, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. I did not know when I ordered this kit, I didn't look at it close enough, I didn't know if this was going to be the pressed powder kind or the poured kind. So I just, I, I thought, well, I'll deal with either one. I, I like both of them. I have this on today, and I really like it. Really like it. So um, what's really cool about this that I really was excited about is this Double Urban Decay eyeshadow. Half-baked and twice-baked, and um, I have that on today. Chocolate Soleil, I have that on today. Even though that's not my favorite um, contour, I have it on today because it was part of the kit. And then this tart is the Sculptor. It's a Park Avenue Princess. It's called the Sculptor. It's a creamy um, contouring sculpting pencil. I have that on my nose only today. Bite Beauty, this is a beautiful nude. Um, I have that on my lips, and then I have this on top of it. This is so pretty. It's like a bronzy, coppery, rose gold, NARS lip gloss. I love this. And then this was the real surprise of the whole kit. This is just a Sephora eyeliner. It is a dark, chocolatey brown, and it has a, it's a chocolatey bronze, I would call it, and it has a shimmer to it. And I thought, you know, it's just going to be, I haven't tried Sephora's eyeliners. I thought, it's just going to be a hard, cheap, crappy eyeliner. You know, I'm, I'm not going to love it. Oh, my God. It it went on like it was melted. And it's not. It's not that hot in here. <laughs> it was amazing. I, I have to say, it was amazing. So, I'll show you exactly how all that went on. So what I started out with was the Urban Decay eyeshadow. I put the color twice baked in my crease and I tried to just do it kind of light. I wanted this to be sort of a light, bronzy, golden, shimmery, go into the beach kind of look. Yeah, like I'd wear this much makeup to the beach, really. But So I put that in the crease and I put it in my corner and I, I blended it really, tried to blend it really well and get it real light looking. Then I put the half baked color, which is a gorgeous gold. This is the prettiest gold eyeshadow I think I have because it's just yellow enough and they did not try to make it a chunky golden horrible fallout glitter. It is a smooth very yellow gold sheen. I really like this one. I patted that on my lid 
And then I thought I'd do something different and put this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector on as my highlight. So I highlighted up there with that and I also put it in sort of the inner corner. So then I lined with this Sephora eye pencil and it's called Crayon, it's called Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear. It says it's waterproof. And I really thought it was just going to be, you know, a hard, blah pencil. This one is called Coco. I thought it was going to be a hard, blah pencil, and I wasn't, I was going to have to, you know, really work with it. It is super, super soft. Let me swatch you a color a little bit there. Um, it's a bronze. It's a deep bronze, and it's shimmer. I'm going to get some more of these. This just turned out so awesome. Um, the color on it is good. The saturation is good. It's super soft. I'm going to get some more Sephora eyeliners. It really surprised me. I lined up on top and underneath in that, and then I went back and put underneath a little bit more of the Twice Baked, the darker color in the Urban Decay Duo, and then in the, uh, I put that sort of outer edge to middle of eye, and then I put that pretty gold um, in my corner and to the middle of the um, the, the lower eye, eye line. Here's how it turned out. Um, I just love that gold. Look at that gold. It's just, it's the perfect yellow gold. I'm not a huge fan of yellow gold, but this one I am. And then I used the Becca for a highlight. I probably wasn't supposed to. It's probably not supposed to go around your eyes, but I think it worked out really well. So I love this kit. I love this kit. Um, the next thing I did was I did try on, so breaking away from the kit for just a minute, I did want to show you guys today the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. I got a sample of it from Urban Decay. This is Urban Decay. And um, it actually came with three different colors in it, which is great. I went with the lightest one, of course, and I started out trying to put it on with a brush, like a fluffy brush. Um, but that, it wasn't going on very well. The color I, I tried on is called Light Warm. And um, I'm not really what I'd call warm, but this is not a super warm color to me. To me, this is really neutral. So I tried that on. I tried to put it on with a brush and sort of just brush it in, buff it in. And that wasn't really showing up at all. So I went, uh, I picked up a, I have a Laura Mercier p uh, Puff. I, so I started patting it in, and I tried to kind of build it, and it wouldn't build. It wasn't. So I did not put on my Bye Bye Redness today. I just wanted you to see how light the coverage is on this Naked Skin Powder Foundation. You can see um, some of my red nose is coming through, some of my red chin is coming through. Um, it's not a very, it's not a very covering foundation. I know if you're wearing a powder foundation, you may not want a lot of coverage, but I do have a couple of powder foundations that I love, and they have really much better coverage, much um, more intense coverage. If you're wanting something maybe to go on top of a liquid foundation as just an extra layer of coverage, this might work for you. Otherwise, just by itself, it is really light. Um, you better not have any discolorations on your face. If you want to wear this just as a straight-up foundation, you, might, you better have perfect skin. Uh, also did not put any kind of primer on before this because I feel like with a powder foundation it's something that should just go on by itself. I feel like you shouldn't be adding a primer to a powder foundation. Plus I, I don't know how a powder foundation would stick on a primer. It might it might stick kind of, you know, inconsistently and kind of blob around on a foundation. On a... So I did this um, Park Avenue Princess, the sculptor from Tarte, this little guy right here. I'll swatch that on my hand for you. I did that along the sides of my nose because I really couldn't figure out. First of all, I don't like the Park Avenue Princess line. I mean, it looks pretty on there. It looks like a really nice matte nude brown, but on my skin, it is very orange. Um, it doesn't, it's just not my color. It never has been. Plus, with this kind of a crayon, I was like, do I crayon my cheek? What do I do? So, I kind of didn't really know the best way to use this. I figured that really the only way I could use it was if I wanted to be really precise and do it down the sides of my nose. And you can probably still kind of see it. It's not really something I would buy. Um, not really something I would ever use again, I don't think. 
So then I did the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil as my contour. Even though it's not my favorite contour in the world, I used that as my contour. It is still um, sort of an orangey color with me on my skin. I don't know why. I mean, it's it looks taupe in the package. You couldn't get any more taupe than that. I mean, it's just taupe. But on my skin, it comes out orangey. I mean, I have to have, and I am just scrubbing it and not getting any color off of it. I don't know. You can see it better on my finger, but it won't go on my the back of my hand. I can't swatch it for you. That's about as good as I can do right there. But man, the smell, when you pop open a fresh one of these, it just, it knocks you out. You're like, oh, my, it just should not, th that kind of smell should not be legal. It is so fantastic. So then um, I just, I put on just a Revlon cheap blush that I have. Um, it's one of my favorite go-to nude kind of blushes. And then I highlighted with my Becca. This is so pretty. I had guess I had forgotten about how pretty this color is. This is the opal, and it's a mess because I, I used it. It's so, oh, look, it's just heavenly. It's a heavenly look. And I kind of had forgotten. I had forgotten about it. But it it's... Um, it's so pretty. So anyway, I, I mean, I can just go on and on about it. It's got a bit of a pink cast to it. Um, so I put that on my cheekbones. I put that on my forehead a little bit and my chin. And I just love it. It's I've got to remember this one. It's such a neutral. It's got a pink tone to it. But overall, it's kind of a neutral. So it's going to really work. It doesn't come off too pink to be a highlighter or too gold or any of that stuff. I love it. Oh, so then I used, I did my lips. What I, one of the things I got in my package today was the Urban Decay Ultimate Ozone Primer Pencil. Um, this I was excited about. I did put that on my lips. Uh, what I'm most excited to use this about is what I'm most excited to use this for. That sounds better. What I'm most excited to use this for is to fill in my little lines before I put on like a liquid foundation. I'll do like here. I guess I'll be doing right here. This is this bothers me right through here. This is getting wrinkly. So I will do that in a future review and show you how that went on and then put a liquid foundation on on top of it. So this Sephora pencil is not coming off. So that's a good thing, right? I used this on my lips today, and I have to say, it's a good primer for your lipstick. I used this, and then I put this Bite Beauty on, and then I put um, the NARS, the lip gloss that came in this kit on top. And I have to say, this is a good primer. I think it, um, it you know, primes your lips really well for lipstick. Seems to be lasting pretty well with this primer. However, I feel like if you used this every day, your lips would dry up and blow down the street. I mean, it just feels dry. It's a matte. It's it's kind of like a, just a silicone kind of pencil. I don't know if there's actual silicone in it. I don't want to say that because that might, you know, some people don't like silicone. And I don't want to misrepresent it. But um, it, it's a very matte. And it's, I don't know how to show you how matte it is. It is matte. Um, I just feel like if you use this, you're going to dry out um, on an everyday basis. That's why I really think the main function for me is going to be these line fillers. So this Bite Beauty crayon that's in here is called Madeira, and it is, it's just a beautiful nude. Um, see how it looks, and then here, oh, it comes out so pink on me. Look at that, super pink, super pink, uh, a beautiful nude, good opacity. And of course, you know, Bite Beauty, it's going to be moisturizing and feel really nice on your lips. And then on top of that, I put this beautiful NARS look at the sparkle or the shimmer on this thing. This is not as opaque as you would think it is looking in the tube. This is called Super Vixen. Yeah, that's me, Super Vixen. Uh, I put this on on top of that nude to try to give it some opacity or some, you know, so you can see it a little bit better. And there's not a lot. This is definitely not a lacquer. It's definitely a gloss. It's like a, a glimmery, shimmery, tinted gloss. Um, I think it's pretty, and I'm glad they put it in the kit, but I don't think if you wore it alone, it would really show up very well. So overall, this is an awesome kit. You know, for somebody who does not 
who professes to not love bronzing or looking tan or anything, you know that's not me. Anybody, some, for somebody who says all of that, this has turned out to be a really useful and fun kit. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Chocolate Soleil um, and the Park Avenue Princess. Everything else, I like. So uh, awesome kit. I think it was only 39 bucks. I want to say, um, for all this good stuff. All this good stuff. So, so before I did my makeup today, I tried this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I got a little trial size of it. I sprayed it on. I probably sprayed three or four pumps on, and I am honestly not seeing any kind of difference. Um, I think this would feel really good after a long day and your makeup's kind of tired. Um, I think that would feel it would feel really refreshing and kind of refresh your makeup. But as a primer, I didn't see it. I just I didn't see it. So I have at least a million things to share with you and to review. I'm so excited. You know, I love my stuff. Um, I got this in my Sephora box today. It is a Sephora eyeshadow, and it is so cool. It's called Mermaid Tail. It has this shimmer and shift. I've been wanting that for a long time. Also got an awesome Clinique VIB Rouge set. Turn around, overnight revitalizing moisture. Turn around, daytime revitalizing moisture. Turn around, revitalizing treatment oil. I'm going to try these out tonight or in the morning, depending on whatever you're supposed to do with them. I'm going to be showing, uh, reviewing that for you soon. Uh, Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. I'm going to try that on underneath a liquid foundation. Excited about that. I also got an awesome Bobbi Brown set. It was a VIB Rouge thingy. Um, I get a black eye pencil. I got a... Um, makeup remover and I got and I got a long wear cream shadow stick and it's dark brown so I want to try all those out for you I also got in my little box today a lip brush this is just a Sephora Pro lip brush and I wanted to show you the overkill on the packaging that they did it was incredible not only was this whole thing wrapped in the kind of plastic that you have to like cut and peeled off but it has this little and I guess this is what makes it pro it has a case that goes around the end that snaps closed so you like bust your nail trying to get these little snaps off I mean, it is like overkill. It is like protected, see? I needed a new lip brush. I can't find a lip brush. Granted, I haven't really looked for it, but it's not readily available, so I bought a new lip brush. Um, some other things that came in my box today. Makeup Forever. This is called Nudes You Need, and I've swatched all of them, and I'm excited about them. Um, these two Highlights are gorgeous. They are so metallic-y. And then I love this sort of purpley, pinkish one here. So I'm going to be doing a look with that for you soon. So that is my So Much Makeup, So Little Time for today. I will see you next time.